Hi moviegoers, I'm KC from VTV, and today I'm taking a break from asking movie stars questions to ask you one. Have you seen the New Village Cinemas website? The New Village Cinemas website is easier to navigate. There's a quick reference for movie session times. Find out about VMAX, Gold Class, Cinema Europa and our Village Cinemas movie clubs. Search for movie info and watch trailers instantaneously. Tell us what you think about movies when you post a comment. Skip the queue when you use Quick Ticks and print your tickets at home. Do your Christmas shopping at the movies. Village Cinemas gift cards are the gift that every movie lover loves. Thanks for watching. Now sit back, relax and enjoy our interview with the cast of the new film, Gabriel. Hi moviegoers, it's KC from VTV. I'm here with the director of Gabriel, Shane Arbess, and star Andy Whitfield. Please make him welcome. Thank you very much. Guys, thanks for joining us. Um, congratulations on the film. Just so that our uh, viewers can learn a little bit about the movie, do you want to tell us a little bit about the story, please? It, it takes place in purgatory. It, it's about the battle between archangels and fallen angels uh, for control of, of the realm and its inhabitants. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the story focuses on Gabriel, who's the last of seven archangels to be sent in, uh, in the battle. He's an assassin, essentially. But he's going to find that being a human and dealing with human emotions uh, is almost as perilous as actually the mission that's ahead of him. So uh, I think everything's up against him in this one, and uh, you know, and, and it's going to take a lot for him to get through it. A lot of people wouldn't be aware of the fact that this is actually an, actually an Australian film. Somebody remarked to me this morning when I told them I was meeting you guys that they didn't know it was an Australian film. So you know, how do you come to make um, a film in Australia that is so international? Uh, you know, with great difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> with great difficulty. I mean, it's been a three-year process to get to here, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's one of those things where. You know, a lot of sacrifice. You know, when we first started the, making the film, you know, I said to everybody, we're going to do this kind of, you know, crazy kind of big independent uh, kind of film. You know, and we're going to have probably next to no budget. And and uh, you know, a lot of people thought we were nuts, and we probably were. But uh, you know, over the course of time, we just a lot of great people come aboard the project to you know who who really wanted to, to see this happen, and a lot of people wanted to support it. So if we were going to do it in this country, you know, they wanted this to kind of be something as a, maybe a statement to the industry to say, you know, we can make these films here and, and let's get a bit more support or an infrastructure that, that, that you know, can, can make that happen. That's a really good point because, uh, you know, some people have observed that when it comes to Australian films, um, a lot of them are made without very much audience in mind during, during the production stage, but what you've made is a real out-and-out -out genre picture, you know, something that appeals very directly to an audience. Was that, that was intentional? I definitely, because to me, you know, uh, a lot of films, I think, especially in this country, are made for industry peers or funding bodies, criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas for us, it was kind of like, you know, I, I wanted to make a movie that I wanted to go and see, uh, you know, on a Friday night. And, you know, hence why I kind of really wanted to go back to that, uh, that sort of, uh, an old school approach to the movie, you know, to, even to the action scenes. It's kind of, it's got old, you know, street brawling. So, Andy, you, you're a, this is your first lead role, is That's that right? right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how did you come to be involved in the project? Um, the normal way, you know, through an audition. Um, I didn't know at the time. I mean, I saw, I saw the script and I thought, this is enormous, you know. Who's, which American <laughs> company is going in to make this? And um, got to the audition room, met the guys, and um, realised it, it was a much smaller, um, more humble kind of production than I had read on the page. And I was initially a little bit worried about it. I just thought... You know, if they don't pull it off, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a turkey. Mm. So, um, but I, it was, wasn't long until I sort of, you know, saw what, how committed they were and how passionate and how they wanted to make this and pull this off. You know, in Australia with Australian crews and and just do it, just do it. Everything that they said couldn't be done. Um, I was in, you know, and we all had to pull our weight to make it happen. Well, it must be really exciting for you guys because obviously, you know, you're on the precipice of, of something big here. I mean, what does it feel like, you know, for a director and an actor, you know, the possibilities that, that are in the future? How does that sort of invade your subconscious? Um, it's kind of a mixed bag, I think. I mean, it's like, almost like getting waiting for your exam results this week because mm -hmm. the film opens and, you know, we get to sort of give it to the people who really matter and that's the audience and hope that they get something out and they love it and they want to see us back. Mm -hmm. So, um... Uh, yeah, there's, look, it's that, it's that thing of potential. There's, there's, there's unlimited potential right now because of what we've managed to do so far. So uh, it's just about being capitalising on it and, um, and you know, extending our uh, learning, our careers, and, and hopefully enjoying it along the way. 
And you I mean you take a big risk with a film like this? I mean, you know, if people go and expect to see a hundred million dollar explosion Jerry Bruckheimer fest, it's not that. You know, this, this is much more of a humble sort of a film. But I'm really passionate about the characters and, and the story that, that that's in there. Mm. And uh, you know, and I, and I think that's one thing that's been really surprising from all the sort of audience test screenings and premieres and things like that that have had is people go in expecting one thing, but are actually pleasantly surprised that it's not that, and that it comes out to be something quite different. And and the old school sort of approach and pacing and that is, is really coming through in reviews and what people sort of feel about the film. So it's great. You know, I think we've we've made that tonally. We've we've got it where we want it to be. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to check out Gabriel in cinemas on November 15th.